If you correspond with Ralph on television, video, or telephone, audio, or you chat, text, or email him, you're giving him permission to duplicate it, rebroadcast it on any of the Take Your Life Back Today show broadcasts. Yeah, beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today show Beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today show Stay positive, hope, and keep faith Stand strong against any odds that you face Put away the alcohol and the drugs Fill your time with the things you love Addiction is tough but it's worth the work Treat your body what it's worth Spread positivity, inspire all If we stand together we will never fall I help others see the other sides of life A soul of life, letting go of the strife So give me a call, I can help 1-844-405 HELP Homeless shelters, hospitals, jails, wherever you are I am Ralph Friedrichs and I am here for you 1-844-405 HELP Hi, my name is Ralph Reeves. I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of this show, The Take Your Life Back Today Show. I want to talk about nine rules for turning endings into new beginning. Turning endings into new beginnings. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. Think about that. Every new beginning becomes from other beginning end. When you can no longer think of a reason to continue, you must think of a reason to start all over. There's a big difference between giving up and starting over in the right direction. And there are three little words that can release you from your past regrets and guide you forward in a positive new beginning. These words are from now on. From now on, I will do this. From now on, I will change this. From now on, I will try to improve this. So from now on, let the things you can't control go. Let the things you cannot control go. Most things are only a part of your life because you keep thinking about them. Positive things happen in your life when you emotionally distance yourself from the negative things. So stop holding on to what hurts you and make room for what feels good and what feels right. Do not let what is out of control interfere with all the things that you can control. Think about that. Let go the things that are out of control that interfere with things that you can control. Accept and embrace reality. Life is that simple. Everything happens for you, not to you. Everything happens to, uh, for you, not to you. Everything happens exactly at the right moment, neither too soon nor too late. For everything you lose, you gain something else, and for everything you gain, you lose something else. 
You don't have to like it, but it's just easier if you do just swallow the pill. So pay attention to your outlook on life. You can either regret or rejoice. It's your choice. Change your mind. Change is like breath. It isn't part of the process. It is the process. In reality, the only thing we can count on is change. And the first step towards positive change is to change your outlook in life. Prepare for the positive. Prepare for the new. Allow the unknown to take your fresh and unforeseen areas in your life. Growth is impossible without change. If you cannot change your mind, you cannot change anything, anything in your life. Sometimes all you need is to look at the things from a different perspective. Hold tight to the good things that you have in life. When life struggles, knocks you into a pit so deep that you can't even see out of the darkness, don't waste valuable energy trying to dig your way out because if you hastily dig in the dark, you're likely to head in the wrong direction and you only dig the pit deeper. Instead, use whatever energy you have to reach out and pull something good in with you. For goodness is bright. Its radiance will show you which way is up and uh, illuminate um, that uh, so that you can start digging towards that illumination. Rest and regroup. Strength isn't about bearing a cross or a grief or a shame. Strength is about choosing your path, living with the consequences, and learning from those cons uh, from. Um, possible mistakes you might have made. Sometimes you do your best and end up in a total chaotic mess. When this happens, don't be discouraged. You tried. That's really all you can ever do. You have not failed. You just learned what not to do next time. So rest, regroup, and begin again from the last experience and know what to do this experience. Just start taking chances, my friends. Making a big life change or trying something new can be a scary situation. But do you know what's even scarier? Regret from not even trying. So realize that most of your fears are much bigger in your mind than they are in reality. You'll see this for yourself as soon as you face them. Don't let them stop you. Live your life so that you never have to regret the chances you never ever took. The love you never let in and the gifts you never gave out. Read some of my posts from previous or watch some of my posts from previous videos where I discuss this in more detail. You need to start, continue, keep climbing. Every person who was at the top of the mountain did not fare, uh, fall there from the sky. They climbed to get that top of the mountain. Good things come to those who work for them. You gain confidence and grow stronger by every experience from which you truly push yourself to do something you didn't think you could do. If you are standing in a place of in between, unable or unwilling to go backwards, but too afraid to move forward, remember that you can't enjoy the view without being willing to make the climb. Appreciate what you have learned. Nothing is more beautiful and more powerful than a smile that has struggled through many, many, many tears. Don't regret your time, even the moments that were filled with hurt. Smile because you learned from it and gained the strength to rise above it. In the end, it's not what you have been through that defines you, but uh, who you are. It's who you are. It's how you got through it and has made you the person that you, my friend, are today and the person you are capable of being tomorrow with that extra smile, that extra push, and that extra, extra confidence in yourself. Realize that every step in your life is a necessary step. Nothing is ever wrong. We learn from every step we take. Whatever you did today was a necessary step to get to tomorrow. So be proud of yourself. Maybe you are not as good as you want to be or as great as you want to be but thanks to all the lessons you have learned along the way, you are a much better th a person than you used to be. Maybe you're not the person that you want to be. Think about those words. Maybe you're not the person that you thought you should be. But remember, you are the person. You are a better person than you used to be. Those are some powerful words. Start today making 
all the changes in your life that could possibly help you. We went through nine of them. As always, I tell you, you can get a hard copy of this by emailing me at Ralph, R-A-L-F, at TakeYourLifeBackTodayShow.com, or you can call me at 844-405-HELP. But remember the nine rules, nine that we just discussed, on turning endings into the beginnings. Every beginning starts when something just ended. Think about it. Every beginning starts when something just ended. So you need to let things go that you can't control. And you need to accept and embrace reality. You need to change your mind when necessary. Be adaptable. You can't just go on a set mindset. You need to hold on tight to the good things in your life. Hold on tight to them. You need to rest a lot and regroup for a new day. So rest a lot and regroup for a new day. You need to take chances in life. You cannot go through life without taking a chance. And you need to keep climbing. Every person that's on top of that mountain got there from climbing, not from being dropped from an airplane. Appreciate what you have learned along your way. Never think of something to be so boring that you can't appreciate And realize that every step that you have taken so far to get to the top of that mountain was a necessary step. Together, you and I can get to the top of that mountain. Together, hand in hand, we will make it to the top of whatever mountain that you're trying to climb. And if you should stumble and fall a few feet back, remember that there is an ultimate goal, and that is the top of that mountain. And remember, reach out to people. You can reach out to me, 844-405-HELP, and together we will all get to the top of the mountain. Together, when we get to the top of that mountain, we have all taken our lives back. And may God bless you. Even when we fall, He 
gives us just exactly what we need. There is nowhere to fall, for God hears them all. The answer may not be just what you Just what you